Well, what is up there, YouTube? Look what I just got in the mail. Well, UPS. Box was just dropped off not too long ago. <coughs> and I had to spray paint out all the personal information. Because the internet trolling is a big deal. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to crack this box open and let's see what's in there. I kind of already know what's in there. I haven't opened it yet. I mean, you can see it's still... The seal is not broken. So let's, uh... Let's cut into it. Cut shallow here. Well, as shallow as it gets, I guess. Alright, so... Look at that. Packaging paper. Thanks, Dermadyne. Just what I wanted. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, Thermadyne has graciously sent me this stuff. I've been dying to uh, get one of their turbines for the longest time. I am very surprised at this moment because this is not what I expected. No shit. No way. That is not at all what I was expecting to get. If you can't tell by the sound of my voice, I am pleasantly ex excited here. Pleasantly surprised. That is not exactly what I was expecting to be receiving. Am I happy? <laughs> oh yeah! Holy shit! Pardon my language, but... I'm sorry, but I am excited. I was not expecting that. Looks like there's one, two, three... Four, five, six. These are the new, uh... Yeah, that, he stressed that to me. It's gotta be... That really should be Schedule 80. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Holy crap, Thermodyne. I was not expecting the clear ones at all. I was I was thinking you were sending me the black ones. Oops. There's nine, looks like there's nine blades in here. Lots of paper, well packaged though. Oh, and a nine, 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. How many is that? Oh, shit. This is an 11 blader. And here's a 7 blader. Yeah. 2, 4, 6, 7. Here's an 11 blade. 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh, it's a 10 blader. Right? Am I doing my, my counting right here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah. Alright, cool. That's a 10 blade. And that's a 7 blade. Okay, bunch of paper. Holy shit. I have to be honest, I, I was not expecting the clear ones here. I'm sorry for the shaddy camera look. I'll have to cut that open very carefully. Let me uh, see what I do with my knife. Here. My knife! That's a knife! Holy crap. Carefully cut the plastic paper with tape. Wow. That is a huge surprise. I mean, I am I'm ecstatic over it. Really. Because I was not... Honestly, I was not expecting this set. 
I was expecting the black ones. And I, uh, yeah, I was expecting the black ones. I was not expecting these clear ones. Wow, that looks really awesome. And that, that looks really cool. And there's the flag. Wow, that is a real beefy. They got nice flex to them too. Holy shit, look at the angle on that. The pitch of that blade is amazing. So I'll hold the thing straight. I mean, look at the pitch to that thing. See, they, the blades look really screwed up to my eyes because I have polarized sunglasses on, prescription sunglasses. So they, uh, I see all the, I can see all the rainbows and stuff in there from the process. That and it's really not that heavy. It's, I mean, weight-wise, it's not a heavy blade. It's, it's really light. But I, wow, wow, that is amazing. Let me get a little closer here. I don't know. Let me take my sunglasses off. See, I don't know if you can see that. But look at that. That thing is freaking nice. It's really light, too. I was expecting it to be, you know, really heavy. But it's a really light blade, and it's it's got some nice flex to it. I mean... Let me see. I'll put my glasses on so I'm not blinded here. I mean, it, it's got nice... Nice flex. I mean, you really don't want too rigid of a blade because you got to think about it. If you take something that's extremely stiff and does not flex, I mean, it, it shouldn't. It should flex to a limit, okay? But if you have something that flexes very, very little, and just imagine being up on the tower and the wind turbine catches a breeze and it's spinning real fast and it's under load and then the wind abruptly shifts in a direction, another direction. Because a lot of times here, the wind will shift. It'll be coming out of the south-southwest. And then it'll immediately shift <clears throat> to the north. It, especially when we get fronts to come through. It'll come out of the north, northeast. North, northwest, north. I mean, the wind around here shifts crazily, constantly. So knowing that the blade has some flex in it, at least it'll be able to take that out. It'll be able to handle it. Um, now it is a nice sharp edge too. I know you can't see exactly what I'm doing, but it's a it's a very it's a nice sharp and clean edge. It's not like a it's not a rounded over oops a rounded over edge. I mean, so you can see. It's a nice sharp edge, so it should slice through the air quite nicely. Now, I don't have the PMA yet. I'm working on that. I can't wait to get these tested out. I'm not going to put them on the hubs yet because I honestly uh, I want to keep them put away until I, I'm ready to load them up. But that's a pretty nice looking blade. Wow, that is really... I really like the fact that it's clear. That's really, that's really nice. I'm ecstatic over that. The other thing that really has me is look at the size of that. Here, here's a piece of half-inch L copper. In here, okay. There's half-inch standard L copper. In here, look at the thickness difference. Anybody that knows the size of half-inch L copper, or even M copper, it's the the wall thickness that changes, but the inside diameter is bigger on the the thinner stuff, and the outside diameter is the same. But that is really cool. Look at that. I like the uh, I like the fact that. Uh, I mean, these are, I mean, truly clear. I mean, you can see my hand through it. 
I mean, that's really nice. You did a really nice job on these, Thermodyne. These look amazing. Now I just can't wait to get them up on the tower. I mean, they're a little scuffed up for me just dicking with them right here, but I don't think that's really a scuff mark. I think that'll, yeah, that'll come off. But, uh, yeah, once we, I mean, look at the pitch. I mean, I got that square onto the face of the camera, and you can see the pitch of that thing. I mean, that thing, that's meant to catch the wind. Meant to catch the wind. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Check that out. See? That's really cool. So you know there's some business meaning here. It means business. That's awesome. That, that's cool. And I got nine of them here. I think. Yeah, nine of them. Because there's six in this bundle. One, two, three. Four, five, six. And then this one. <clears throat> Seven. Eight, nine. Okay, yeah. And I got nine of them there. I don't know why you sent me a, a ten blade hub and nine nine blades, but whatever, you know. I mean, see, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna put them on this one. I'm gonna put them on that one. I'm not doing it yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, That's a ten. I didn't know they made the ten, ten blade hub. Cool. See, in this one here, this is the one that has the carriage bolts, and that's uh, that's a solid. Looks like quarter inch thick. That's a solid uh, plate. And round side to PMA. This is what your packaging will look like if you order one of these. But, uh, yeah, this is the carriage bolt style. So you know that the, it won't spin. The carriage bolt shoulder will seat in here. And these are all, these look like they're laser cut. <clears throat> yeah, they definitely look laser cut. That doesn't look like it's plasma cut. So... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick these back in the box for now because I really don't have any way of testing them at the moment. Um, but wow, I was not I was totally thrown thrown back by that. I didn't think he was sending me the the clear blades. I thought I was gonna get the black ones. Either way, I mean, either way, I'm I was ecstatic over it. I didn't think I was gonna <clears throat> get these ones though. That's freaking amazing. I can't get over the pitch of that blade. That is awesome. I'm getting them all dirty and scratched up here. My fault. My fault. So, but they, I mean, they're nice and... Nice and solid. I mean, that's... They feel like they're going to hold up to... Some pretty hefty winds. I mean, yeah, look at that. I mean, that's a that's a really nice, clean edge. You can see the flag that they that he was talking about in some of his videos. Right there, you see how the dips in there. I cannot wait to get these bad boys on the on the turbine. I wonder if that hub will fit on the Windy Nation. I don't think so. Because I, I don't have any way of testing these right at the moment. Eventually. Eventually. Well, I just wanted to share this with you guys because... I knew it was coming. I just didn't know what was coming. Really. Look at that. Look at the twist on that blade. That is awesome. 
because these are uh, these are supposed to have some pretty low wind startups. That's what I'm excited to see is the low wind. Because I mean, right now I know you can see my electrical system is a total shit house, really. It's a mess. But I mean, now right now I'm only running on solar. I'm making some good juice now, just on solar alone. I have the turbine off because it's going to get maintenance. So let me turn it back on. And it bounces around on a pole because of the way I have it mounted because of the old high turbine that I have. I put the pole up for that and it didn't work. So I had to kind of jerry-rig it a little bit to get it up there. It's safe, but it's not, not the way I would have done it if I was concentrating on it. But anyway, back to the Thermodyne KT series clear. Wow, look at them freaking blades. That's amazing. Well, I'll have a new video up once I get uh, once I get some sort of PMA or whatever up on the tower, or if that hub will fit on the the Wintura generator, I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. I think it's a five eighths on that. And that might looks like it's or is that eleven six? I don't know. I, I I'd be lying and guessing if I check that shit out. That's awesome. Anytime I've ever emailed Bob or, you know, had a question about something, because I, I've been in contact with him. I've been wanting to get a, a Thermodyne wind turbine up on that tower for the longest time to test it here. I just haven't been able to. Financially, I haven't been able to. In the tower, I haven't been able to. Just a lot of... A lot of things getting in my way. But uh, thank you, Thermodyne. Thank you. I mean, I very humbly thank you for this. This is, this is utterly amazing. These blades are beautiful. These are beautiful blades. Oh, you know what I should do? Let's see if I can find the tape. Garage is a little bit of a mess here. Let's see if I can find my tape measure. Right quick here. Of course not. Somebody probably took it. Anyway. Thermodyne, again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once I get a PMA and I get my mount built for that and everything, I will uh, I'll get it up on the tower, get these together and test them and show you some results show you some real results and I'll also have the wiring system cleaned up too by then where it'll be a lot easier and all that junk okay YouTube thank you thank you